when I share my pictures of my vegetables after they harvest on Facebook, I have so many people saying, how can I get involved? Where is it at? I I'm willing to travel. I'm on my first time eating a fig, like, all natural. Like, I love figs. I buy them dried at Walmart, right? We buy fig newtons, but this is a real fig that we grew right here in Strawberry Mansion. Yeah, show them that big fig tree. You want to turn around, Shahid? Shahid eating that fig. We... Yeah, can you show them? Fresh from the garden. We need our gardens. Don't even play with us. That's right. All this food we growing makes us healthier and happier people. Because we not stressed out. We're trying to buy nutritious food like figs. You know how important figs are to the diet? You know what? I'm getting ready to put you in there. I'm gonna... no. <laughs> you know how important figs are to the diet though? Yeah. And what they do. So hi Malik, how are you today? Very cool, very cool. See what it did for It made 60 the new 40. 60 the new 40? Yeah, man. I'm how do you feel about our gardens? They get right here and here. And what would you like to tell them about our gardens? We need this. We, stand, we, live, in a, we live in a food desert. Everywhere I went in the last year, California, Portland, Oregon, Washington State, uh, Vermont, they said Philadelphia is called a food desert. Do you know what a desert is? <laughs> Dry, desolate. We live in a food desert. Any food we find if within a 10 mile radius is not sustainable. It's not good. It's got uh, all kinds of pesticides. Not all of it, but 65% of it is bad. It's not good for you to eat or to help. We, now we got a chance to grow our own foods, feed our own people. This thing supplies collard greens, cabbage, kale, tomatoes, okras. And do you eat your food fresh off the vine? Right off the vine. Mm -hmm. Amino acids from tomatoes. You ain't gotta go get the drugs out of the um, drugstore. Go right to the vine and get them. Uh -huh. Go for your muscle. Uh -huh. All your athletes eat tomatoes. And spinach. Like Popeye. Collard greens. I thought it was going, huh? <laughs> they look good. Yeah, I'm making tomato um, sauce. So, Gail, um, do I have your permission to air your image on multiple media outlets? Sure, dear. And how do you feel about the garden? I love the garden. I, this is my fifth year doing gardening, and I just love gardening. I then became uh, not a vegan. A vegetarian. <laughs> I'm not a vegan, I'm a vegetarian. So, and I have lost, um, from being a vegetarian, I, I say I lost 25 pounds from being a vegetarian, but um, I had had the had gas and bypass done, but I had lost 80 pounds since then. That's wonderful. Yes, and I love gardening. Wonderful. And do you get most of your vegetables, like from your gardens, for your diet? Is yes. that? Most of my vegetables come from my garden. That's awesome. And I love it. Um, I have learned how to cook everything with all uh, spices, all my, um, I have my garden here and I have some vegetables, uh, my spices and stuff now is in, at my house. So now all that, I eat everything healthy. I'm healthy, 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 healthy. Now for Thanksgiving, I'm getting ready to do a vegetarian, um, sweet potato pie. So only thing I had to find out is what egg the substitute for eggs for my vegetarian sweet potato pie. That's so awesome. That is so awesome. So were you growing spices at your house before this garden? No. No. No, I wasn't so, growing nothing. I didn't even know how to grow. Everything I was touching was dying. So now everything I touched is growing. That's beautiful. So I, and what do you grow? Uh, I, for this year I grew um, kale. I grew um, spinach. I grew um, tomatoes, peppers, I grew eggplant, and I, spent, I grew asparagus. I took, it took me five years, but I grew asparagus. Colette, how do you feel about gardening? I love it. Um, this is my third year. One, it's, it's a resource for fresh vegetables that I know are good vegetables. Um, and it's also therapeutic. 
you know, just coming out every week and fellowshipping with the people who are here, learning basic things about gardening, learning things about nature. You know, so it's more than just planting and harvesting. We get workshops once a month. So just having a garden here, you know, it's, it's therapeutic, it's relaxing. After long day's work, coming in, putting in, and it's hard work too, but it's worth it. Because I not only share it with my family, but I share it with my friends and my co-workers too. So what do you share? I share the tomatoes, the peppers, the collard greens. I have uh, bell peppers, sweet peppers, eggplant, cabbage, collard greens, and tomatoes. And I had turnips, but I've already harvested those. Okay, and did you enjoy your harvest? Yes, yes. And were you gardening before this experience, before the first three years of this? No. You never gardened before? I always wanted to, but you know, never never knew how to get into it and a friend of mine introduced me to it and I've been looking forward to coming back and, you know I hate to see when the season ends and I'm anxious when it begins yeah you know because like I said it's, it's a resource you know you know I don't have to go out buy collard greens I don't have to go out buy tomatoes and peppers and bell peppers and eggplants and turnips I don't have to go out and cabbage I don't have to go out and buy that and not only for my household but my sister's household my co-worker's household so we save money so it's definitely, definitely a good resource that we need. Yeah. So we, we want our gardens, correct? We definitely want our gardens. Yes. I mean, even when you like when the warm, weather is warmer and you see the kids out here, it's about teaching them. Because actually, a child taught me about how to plant the seeds. You know, so they're learning, and that's a learning experience for them. So it's it's good for them to bring them up in the garden and to know about nature and plants and gardening. It's a great experience. Okay. And it would definitely, definitely be a loss to the community. Right. So we're not losing our gardens right now. No, we're not. I'm claiming we're not losing. That's right. That's right. Because there's just too many health benefits. Right. Just now talking to you, you told me um, you can afford to eat your vegetables. Um, it's therapeutic. And you're sharing it with your family. And uh, the little people toy too. Right. And, and the thing about it, when I first started, my first year, all of my friends said, what are you going to do with a garden? You don't eat vegetables. But now, like last year, I, I grew string beans, and I cut them up, and I seasoned them, and I said, let me taste them. like, oh, it tastes pretty good. So I ate them. You know, so I eat mostly everything that I grow except the collard greens. That's awesome. Everything that I grow, I eat. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I made sure that um, I said it. So what are you watering today? I'm watering my collard greens. I had a good crop over the summer. So I had a big green construction bag for it. I got some still in the freezer. You said a big green construction bag full of greens and you still got some in the freezer? Yeah. Nice. So I came to get some winter glue. Just like all the winter greens. Uh -huh. So I'm over here watering them. This garden has been a blessing. It's a form of meditation for me too. When people work on your nerves. You know what I mean? Come over here. Before you plant your, your greens or whatever, you can beat the dirt up like you want to beat them up. Stress reliever. Sing to them. Ain't nobody can tell you you can't sing out here. Ain't nobody flowers die. <laughs> <laughs> so today I was over here. And I sat in the chair. And I put the chair still over here. And it was like if I was in a different world. Because it was so quiet and just a few of the breeze of trees. And then when you look across the street, you see the bustle and hustle of everyday life. But this was actually quite good. And that took me out. That was the first time I actually really just sat here without saying I want to to water this and want to meet people just come and sit. And then I was just amazed about everybody's stuff grows and grew. You, you understand what I'm saying? And I was like, wow, we actually really did this. And then I looked at my photo album and I seen pictures of this we just a lot. So I'm like, look at what we do. I'll be having to complete that part, but the battle goes on. Yeah. So I, I just started coming out here maybe like four years ago when they first started. And it's been like real beneficial for me as far as like growing my own organic food. Because um, organic food in the market is pretty expensive. So it's been saving me a lot. And I know like that they don't have any, you know, pesticides.
sides or anything like that in the food and um, it just feels real good to be to grow your own food and you know be able to eat it and help maybe some of the seniors in the area that you know can't get out that's what I did with my first few harvests of my greens and stuff so that's about it and what all do you grow um, well, uh, my first uh, fall, I mean, my summer planting, I had collard greens and kale. Um, I had different varieties of peppers. Over here, I had like like four varieties of tomatoes. Um, um, so, you see, I'm just, this is the last of my peppers. <laughs> nice. Yes, these are the last of my peppers, so I'm getting them up. They're, nice. they're um, different, different, um, different stages of hot and sweet peppers as well and this is my fall planting here I have uh, collard greens, kale, broccoli, um, spinach and I have some lettuce plants as well and um, do you eat all of your harvest? yes Nice. Yes. Nice. Nice and pots of collard greens I had this summer. It was pretty hot, but <laughs> yeah. And um, were you gardening before this? Before um, coming over to this? Years, years ago, I used to garden in my backyard. Um, when I had my house before I lost my house. Um, so now I live in an apartment on the third floor. So this is this is really giving me a chance to you know. Um, get back to my basics because I do love gardening um, I like planting I have a house full of plants but um, yes this is this has helped me get back to like um, basics like some of the stuff that I lost when I lost my house and stuff yep. the garden is important to me because of um, food justice like you know we're um, or I'm able to eat or the, um, organic food you know, um, learning how to plant it, you know, how to um, harvest it, you know, which season of uh, uh, which vegetable is. So, you know, um, I enjoy doing it because um, it's a neighborhood effort. And I um, like helping my elderly neighbors who um, can't get out to get the fresh vegetables and stuff. I help, you know, um, plant extra vegetables so I can give them. You know, the benefits that I get from it is, um, since I started, I, I was only eating like mostly processed stuff, canned goods and stuff like that, you know, and my health was going downhill. But like now, since I'm starting to eat more vegetables and organic vegetables and, you know, learning more about my own food and, and what's in it and everything, you know, my health is a whole lot better, you know. So I just want to, you know, take this good, you know, feeling that I have and, and share it with the rest of the community because we all deserve to you know, to, to to get what's available, you know, to, to everybody without it being, you know, certain communities can get this and certain communities can get that, you know, um, that we have a better knowledge, you know, because like now, you know, after uh, three years or three and a half years, I can say that I know how to grow my own vegetables or, or that I'm a farmer, you know? Yeah. It's in our hands. <laughs> That's the beauty of the garden, right? Yes, yes. Sharing that food. Sharing the food. It's a good conversation. What is that? Find different, different, different issues and concerns. I'm finding, I'm so, finding many, so many different mentalities different mentality that it seems hard. It, hard. Hard. it, seems, it challenging. seems challenging. I don't say hard because the only thing hard, 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 hard is the concrete that we walk on. Everything else is a challenge. So, 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 I'm ready for, I'm this, ready challenge. for this challenge. And I was built, and I was for, built this. for this. I think that, I think we, that all have we all have a purpose in life. life. And mine is and going to take on a task that, that most of back away from. Back away from. Back away from. That, impossible. that impossible. So people, so people say, say it's impossible. I see possibilities. I don't see anything as being impossible.